now i'll give a brief introduction about the cerebellar circuitry to understand the cerebellar circuitry you need to know how cerebellar peduncles are oriented and to understand how cerebellar peduncles are oriented you need to know a, a brief idea about the brain stem so what i have here is a dissected specimen of the human brain stem uh, this is the mid brain uh, first let me orient you this is superior this is inferior this is anterior you are viewing from the anterior aspect and this aspect is posterior so this is the mid brain this is the pons and this is the medulla oblongata so superiorly you have the mid brain then you have the pons then you have the medulla these three together forms the brain stem now uh, the brain stem is related posteriorly to the cerebellum so now you are seeing the uh, brain stem in front which contains the medulla part of the medulla is removed due to the dissection then you have the pons then you have the medulla and it is related posteriorly to the cerebellum okay you can see the cerebellum is related posteriorly uh, you are looking at a lateral view and in front you can see the midbrain the pons and the medulla and posteriorly you can see the cerebellum now if i turn this backwards and you, if you are looking from the uh, posterior aspect you can see the two cerebellar hemispheres and the midline vermis okay so now we'll imagine this uh, cerebellum and the brain stem to understand the cerebellar peduncles and its circuitry in the 3d space so you imagine that the brain stem first we uh, you have the mid brain above the pons below and the medulla below these three will be stacked one upon each other to form the brain stem and behind this you have the cerebellum which contains two cerebellar hemispheres and the midline vermis so you have a mid brain pons and medulla in front and behind you have the two cerebellar hemispheres with the midline vermis the cerebellum is connected only to the brain stem it is not connected to the cerebrum or to the spinal cord every input and output of the cerebellum runs through the cerebellar peduncles which connects only to the brain stem the cerebellum is connected through the superior cerebellar peduncles to the mid brain above it is connected through the middle cerebellar peduncles to the pons here and it is connected to the medulla through the inferior cerebellar peduncle so mid brain pons and medulla is connected through the superior middle and inferior cerebellar peduncles and these are the only set of connections the peduncles are the only set of connection that the cerebellum has to the rest of the entire central nervous system so we'll un understand one tract each that runs through these peduncles to understand how roughly to briefly summarize uh, how cerebellum is uh, uh, performing its uh, how the circuitry of cerebellum is organized uh, the cerebral cortex on the left side i am telling this all in my body orientation this is the midline okay this is the midline uh, the all this orientation is with respect to my body so suppose this is the left cerebral cortex from the left cerebral cortex primary motor cortex which is going which is doing the all the movement of my right side of the body my left cerebral cortex which will send its intended movement through the corticoponto corticopontine fibers the corticopontine fibers will carry the signal of the intended movement that will synapse in the pontine nuclei of the left side of the pons and from there you have the ponto cerebellar fibers which will cross the midline to innervate the right side cerebellum so i'll summarize this track once more you have a corticopontine fiber which will synapse on pontine nuclei from the pontine nuclei you have ponto cerebellar fiber which will cross the midline so the right side cerebellar hemisphere is getting its input of the intended movement from the left side cerebral cortex through the cortico ponto cerebellar tract and the ponto cerebellar fibers are running through the middle cerebellar peduncle so that is one of the major input that the right side cerebellar hemisphere receives another input that the right side cerebellar hemisphere receives is the spinal cerebellar fibers which is basically coming from the right side of the body from the right side of the body you have the spinal cerebellar fiber ascending up to the spinal cord running through the medulla and bypassing and and relayed to the right cerebral hem cerebellar hemisphere through the inferior cerebellar peduncle so what is carried by the spinal cerebellar fibers the actual movement the actual movement that uh, that occurred in the right side of the body will be conveyed through signals 
this is called the proprioceptive impulses, the unconscious proprioceptive impulses from the right side of the body will be conveyed to the right side of the cerebellar hemisphere through the dorsal spinal cerebellar pathway. So these are the two major inputs that the cerebellum receive, receives. One is the intended movement from the through the cortico ponto cerebellar fiber, and the next is the dorsal spinal cerebellar fiber, which carries the actual uh, movement through the proprioceptive signals. The cerebellum, what happens, this is the right side cerebellum, the right side cerebellum will process all this information, it will send it to the deep nuclei within the right side cerebellum, it is called the dendate nuclei. From the dendate nuclei, you have the output, the major output of the cerebellum that runs through the superior cerebellar pedangle, which will cross the midline. You have the two superior cerebellar pedangles crossing the midline, it will decussate the midline. So I am tracing only the right side, uh, from the, uh, right, uh, the output from the right side cerebellum. From the right side cerebellum, you have the output from, to, from the dentate nucleus running through the superior cerebellar pedangle as the dentatothalamic tract. It should be noted that the right side dentate sends its input, it crosses the midline and it uh, relates to the left side thalamus. And from the thalamus, it is sent back to the cortex, which made the first intended movement command. So the cortex move, the signals of the left side cerebral cortex will be modulated by the right side cerebellum through the dendato thalamo cortical projection. And that projection, the dendato thalamo fiber, thalamic fibers runs through the superior cerebral epidemic. So you roughly got an idea how these cerebral epidemics are connected to each other and which all fibers will cross the midline so that you can easily understand what will happen if one side cerebellum is involved in a lesion. So you understood the basis of pedangles and how it is important to understand how these pedangles are oriented and connected to understand the cerebellar circuit.